out to the person that got a little ill this morning. I hope uh, he is getting better and well. I understand being ill. I want to thank Balmani for this marvelous trip. I will always refer back to him because I believe that he is organized and he is dedicated to do for us. I bring back to the Africans my spirit. My spirit, I do know where I am from. And it is not the United States. I am from, I was brought over and made to have the customs that they have. Um, I am love. I, I give love. And I never knew where that spirit came from. But it comes from here. Uh, the African people that I've come across here are nice. They are kind. They are are, are, they are honest. And I don't come from that place, you know. I come from a place where I'm always looking over my back and watching what's happening and I'm, I'm not very trusting. But I have been able to trust. I, I thank everyone who has assisted me in walking and carrying things and and the, the true true love that I've received on this trip. You know, I can't do everything that you all can do. But I am grateful to be here. I'm grateful to be home. Oh, yes. And I don't have to get off the bus <laughs> to show that. I am having the time of my life, oh. you know, and I'm just sitting here and being here. So thank you all for being here with me and for me. I shake. I shake. Can we get a brother to come speak? We need the kings to come say something. They all look like this. Okay, next person. <laughs> Peace and love, family. I want to start by saying that um, when we sojourn, behind you. <laughs> um, when we sojourned, when we made our intentions to do this trip, we had no idea of what lay before us. We knew we were coming somewhere, but did you ever think about what it was like for our ancestors? We're coming here willingly. We're coming here because God has touched our heart and put something within us to say, you need to return. You need to go back and have that feeling. I now have a family that is as big as this bus. I didn't know you before this trip, but each and every one of you are now a part of my family. You have a place in my heart. This trip shows us that as a people, we can unify. Yes. Not knowing each other, but we came together for one common cause, and that is to come back home, to learn about what it's going to be like if we come here to live. And to show that as much as they try to propagate black folks don't know how to get together and be unified and care and love one another, look at what we've done. We make sure that each and every one of us are taken care of. You need help. How you doing, sis? You okay? When do we do that back home? When you are in the right place, your heart opens up and you keep love present. And that's what it's all about. I am so grateful. Bamani knows I've been stalking him for years. <laughs> stalking him for years. I'm a silent stalker. But I love you, my sister. this you brother do. has been I touched. God. God has put a mission on him. Yes. And we have to support him. 
We have to uphold him. We have to make sure he eats and takes care of himself so that he can continue to do this because it takes courage. This is not an easy task at all to get right. folks to come back home and to understand the importance of it. Yeah. So I am so grateful that God has blessed me to now have a much more extended family. Yeah. Ashe. Yes. Ashe.